Whatever your zip code happens to be, your hometown, your region, your state, I know this. You've tuned in to this program because you enjoy and appreciate a quality golf experience. That is exactly what we have in store for you today as we bring our cameras to a northern Michigan iconic destination where courses called Fountains, Monarch, Swamp Fire, and Reflections are ready for you. Coming up in the moments ahead, a very special look at a very special place called Garland. Welcome to Michigan Golf Live Television, celebrating our 20th season of shining the spotlight on the best places to stay, play, and enjoy the greatest game on earth. Stay connected 24-7 to MGL on Facebook, Twitter, our weekly radio show, and podcasts on the all-new 4golfersnetwork.com. What a beautiful, spectacular destination we have in store for you in the moments ahead on today's program. Hello friends, I'm Bill Hobson. Thank you so much for watching as we bring the crew to one of Northern Michigan's most iconic and stunning golf destinations, Garland, where four championship courses originate out of one clubhouse and the stories on and off the course contribute to the making of lifetime memories. We have a lot of ground to cover in just a few moments. So I want to get things rolling. I'm going to welcome in General Manager Dave Sanderson to answer this question for us. What is it about the Garland golf experience that's so special? And so Dave Sanderson, what is it that's special about the Garland experience? Uh, I think it's a variety of things. I think if uh, once you're here and you visit, you'll hear most commonly four courses, all different, one clubhouse, park, play, don't worry about driving. But I think the other thing is, and you say experience, and that's really what this is, because we're not in the golf business, we're not in the lodging business or the food business, we're in the experience business. So 70 odd years ago, Herman Otto and his son Ron had one heck of a vision here. And the, the vision of community, which has created, you know, 350 members to go along with the resort, I think makes Garland gives Garland kind of a country club feel along with being a resort. And so we certainly are a resort, mm -hmm. but a resort with a country club feel. And let's not kid ourselves. There are a plethora of great golf choices in Northern Michigan. But I think that's what sets Garland apart is the, is the fact that this is more of a club feel. Um, and that's a tribute to our staff and our members and, and uh, the history of the resort and our legacy. In the moments ahead, Martin Monk and I are going to head out onto each of the courses, but I want to get your thoughts, a little feel for each of them, if we can talk in, in specific, because all four have their own unique characteristics. And I would, I would say, let's start with Fountains. Fountains is the newest course, um, bent grass, tee to green, a unique 666 format. Uh, Which is six threes, six fours, and six par five. Correct. Very undulating greens. Um, and you can look at the card from the white tees, that's what, 5,200 or 5,500 yards or something, and you think, oh, I'm gonna eat this up. And then you finish and you think, whoa, what happened? What happened? Uh, Monarch would be the traditional championship layout, large green complexes, uh, wider fairways, um, and it's in generally Monarch and Fountains are the two we use for club events, mm -hmm. uh, club championship and member guests, etc. Swamp Fire, people say, oh my God, there's water on 16 of 18 holes. When I look at it, I see almost a peat dye influence where there is a lot of water, but it's there to mess with your head. Yeah. And a lot of it maybe doesn't come into play. And reflections, um, is actually one of my favorite courses here uh, just because it's so different and it's uh, hardwoods and maples and all kind of different hardwoods and through the woods and a true northern Michigan woods golf experience. One of the clear messages I want to convey to all of you is that the invitation is open to come play here, come stay here, come dine here, come make your memories here and that applies to you whether you're, you're a couple, a foursome, or a group of 40. You, you've seen everything here at Garland. Yes, we have. The last couple of years, we've seen a big uptick in female golfers and couples. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's part of, uh, part of why they like that is because 
the courses have so much variety and the tees are set up so that it is a, it is a comfortable course for the female golfer who may not hit the ball as long. And, and maybe the best reason of all is they come here because when they come here, they feel like a member. Yeah. And that's what we try to do. It is time to head out onto the golf course. But the big question is, which one? With so many great choices here at Garland, I am really glad to have along for the ride our expert guide. Martin Monk handles all the groups. When your group comes here to play, this is most likely the guy you're going to deal with. And we do have a pretty good menu to choose from. We sure do. We got the uh, best game in the world, and right here behind you is your playground for the nicest courses in Michigan. And we're welcome to, welcome to have you here. Fountains, Monarch, Swamp Fire, and Reflections, and they all start out of one clubhouse, which is kind of nice if you're if you're a weary traveler, by the time you get here, you want to park the car and then just be home. Most certainly. We'll try to get you checked in before you get on the golf course. Enjoy your time. Never have to leave. So you and I are going to head out eventually on all of these courses, but we'll start with Monarch. What's special about Monarch? Well, we're starting on the longest. We're starting on the, the granddaddy. Um, it is definitely uh, probably close to 7,100 yards. Uh, some undulating greens, some wonderful conditions, and actually it's in, it's in beautiful shape right now. I think you'll really enjoy it. You know, Monarch has a number of little postcard hole settings where you feel like grabbing the camera, and at the same time, if you're not accurate with your approach shots, you might need to grab a sleeve as well. Yeah, you're, you're not kidding. Uh, like every course out here, there's some challenges, that's for sure. Um, tight fairways in a lot of cases, but once you get by the green complexes, then you're dealing with a little bit more undulation, so you'll definitely love it. There is a lesser known course down in Augusta, Georgia, where they have this stretch of holes called Amen Corner. And on Monarch, 11, 12, and 13 have had a lot of golfers saying a prayer over the years. Let's walk through that stretch. Um, it's just a, a little glimpse or a snapshot of an outstanding course. But this three hole stretch can kind of make or break your round. Let's take us through, take us through 11. Well, 11 is a really long par four dog leg left up the hill, uh, right next to it about 150 yards out is a huge eagle's nest. Been there for about 10, 12 years. Uh, second shot, if you hit a good drive, your second shot's gonna be a long approach, 200 to 150 in, uh, over a nice little creek, waterfall on the right, just a, a beautiful setting. So you'll definitely like that one. And once you get up there, again, you get to 12, the long par three, uh, water guarding three, three of the four sides pretty much, so. And then after we make par on 12, we head over to 13. 13 is probably the toughest hole, not only on the Monarch course, but probably on the resort. Uh, again, plays into the wind. Um, very, very long par four, pretty narrow. You've got all water all along the left-hand side and your approach shot is nothing easy. It's a raised green about 10, 20 feet above you. So it's a tough hole. Four great courses at Garland and we are just getting started. Thanks for showing me through Monarch. We'll see you again a little bit later. Sounds great, thanks Bill. You have just seen Monarch, and when we come back after the break, we take you over to Swampfire as we continue our tour of the beautiful golf courses at Garland in Lewiston. For some odd reason, I don't know why, but I feel like I should be serving ice cream. Just another day. Another birdie. Welcome back to the show. I know, by the way, that you're very familiar with the concept of the four-course meal. This is a four-course special as we come back to Garland Resort in Lewiston, where four wonderful courses await. I'm rejoined by Martin Monk, and uh, we now set foot for the first time in this program on the beautiful layout that is Reflections. What is it to you that, re that makes Reflections stand out? Well, I think Reflections is um, a little bit of all the courses rolled into one. Hmm. We've got the elevation change, tree line fairways, water holes, some wide open shots, pretty much everything. Now, I, I notice that compared to the other courses on the property, yes, there is water here, but it's not quite as dominant a feature. It's replaced on Reflections, it seems, by bunkering. Yeah, yeah, there's a few, few more bunkers here, some that are in play, some that are pretty penile, uh, more so than some of the other courses. And it's a little tighter. A uh, little shorter course on the scorecard, but uh, definitely the tips are a challenge. Well, and we're out here the morning after a good soaking last night, so it plays a little bit longer after some moisture comes down. And one of the things that I've most appreciated about Reflections is the way that so many of the green complexes are kind of set back in a beautiful framing, a, a classic northern Michigan framing. Oh, it certainly is, yeah. We're very, very fortunate. Obviously, that uh, 
kind of spills over to the other courses in a sense, but definitely Reflections has that, that attribute for sure. Now, you and I are out hitting shots and your iron game is absolutely spot on, so when did you turn pro? Yeah, right. Ten years from now. <laughs> Ten years <laughs> yeah, from now in your right. imagination. Yeah, that's right. Well, we're going to see you again in a few moments when we head over to Swamp Fire, which has a unique name and a very unique look to it. But one of my favorite things to do on the program is introduce you to people who call Garland home and let them sing the praises of this special place. These folks lived downstate until relocating to Lewiston. John and Sandy, what brought you here? Garland. Why? Uh, why, why not? I mean, you pull up, you see this grandeur and rustic elegance, and you kind of go, this is pretty cool, right? And then you start to play the courses and you see deer run across the fairway or you get lucky enough to see a bear print in the morning in the sand or the fox runs through. You've got the bald eagles flying over. The nature is amazing. And then you've got these four courses all with different personalities. What's not to love? And then winter is beautiful here. So it's not just... So You're here all the time. It, we are here all the Full time. time Love it. All right, John. Four golf courses. Of these four courses, do you have a personal favorite? I like fountains. I like those six, six, and six. Six par three, six par four, six par five. It's, it's, uh, it's not that hard to play, but it's fun to play. Denny and Terry call Florida home part of the year and Garland home the other part of the year. Okay. So, Denny, why? What, what about this place draws you to it? Well, <clears throat> my favorite is we have four premier courses <clears throat> at our accessible for us every day of the week and uh, and they're in beautiful shape and they're always like that and we just love coming over here we only live six miles from here so it don't take us long to get here we come out any time of the day or evening and just jump on and play a few holes if we need to and it's just a great opportunity for us and terry what is it for you i love the peacefulness and tranquility out here it is such a quiet golf course when you're out here. Um, you get to see eagles flying around. You see all sorts of wildlife. But again, you have four beautiful courses and you never get bored with each one because every day we play a different course. Each course sets up differently and it's always a challenge. So we never get bored playing golf here at Garland. We've seen two golf courses. We have two more to go and I think a stop by the pro shop would be appropriate for me and I run into the director of golf, Mr. Bill Van Buskirk. What is it about the golf experience here that's so special? The golf experience is just you, it's four wonderful golf courses. Uh, you park your car, you don't have to get in again until you've played a different course every day. Um, and it's just four unique golf courses that just is, they're fun to play. You have decided to call this place home forever. Right. Why? Well, I was lucky enough to play in the 80s uh, when there was just East and West course and we come up here as a buddies group and just loved it. Um, in early 90s, was lucky enough to get a, my dream job working here at Garland um, and knew we were always coming back. Three years ago, we were able to retire. Uh, unfortunately, they keep finding things for me to do. You didn't retire very so, effectively. Yeah, they were, I got retired twice from Garland, but still working so it's just we love it here it's just a wonderful place well you know what a place is special if you're supposed to retire and you keep coming back to work there exactly you just it's just a wonderful place you do the flowers the logs the golf experience buddies weekends ladies weekends couples you just it's an experience that you remember forever and you keep talking about it year after year we have groups that have been here 25 years and more so that kind of tells you what kind of experience you get here at Garland. One of my all-time favorite movies has a feature within it called The Fire Swamp. Bad things happen there. Here at Garland, one of the golf courses is called Swamp Fire, where good things happen. Martin Monk rejoins us here to take us on a tour of Swamp Fire, and this one is gonna test your accuracy a bit. It will, off the tee, there's a little bit more water. Uh, 16 of the 18 holes do have water on them someplace, but the fairways are a little bit wider, a little bit more generous for sure. And Swamp Fire doesn't require you to be the longest bomber in the world. It's going to require some accuracy, but in the in the scope of the four courses here at Garland, kind of in the middle lengthwise? Uh, yeah, yeah, in the middle of it. Um, you do have to be accurate, like I said, off the tee, but your approach shots are pretty generous. The, the greens are quite large, but undulating. You and I are standing here and talking on the fifth hole, a beautiful par three with a tee box, unlike anything I've seen before. 
Yeah, this is our very, very large horseshoe shaped uh, tee box. So we can put the tee box, boy, I mean, we could go from 190, 200 yards out to about 60 yards out. Now, one thing that I've noticed throughout our time playing swamp fire is that I've splashed a couple and you have stayed dry throughout. So there must be some benefit to local knowledge. Well, a little bit for sure. I've, I've played these courses a few times to know that uh, there's, some, there's some misses and, and, and there's some places that you can be more aggressive out here. You don't want to be too aggressive too often. And, and in all seriousness, I really think this course is one that can help a golfer develop the mindset of focusing on the positive versus the distractions or the hazards. Yeah, that's true. If you, you keep the water out of your mind, you're obviously less likely to hit it, that's for sure. Well, as we all know, golf is 90% mental and 90% physical. I'm not really sure how that math adds up, but you get the picture, and you get the picture that Swamp Fire is really beautiful. Well, to this point in the program, you have seen three of the four Garland Championship courses. When we come back, we've got one more course, as well as an opportunity to dig into the wonderful restaurant menus. Get in. Oh. And to show you places where you can stay when you come up here with your group, because this is not just a one night trip to Garland. Back after this. Oh, that had to go in. Welcome back to our special look at a special place, Garland Resort in Lewiston, one of Northern Michigan's most remarkable golf destinations. Now, to this point in the show, we've already reviewed and played three of the four courses. There's one more still ahead, but so far, one thing we haven't done is give you an idea of the places your group can come and stay when you come and play. Let's take care of that right now. When you come here to Garland, there are roughly seven different choices for lodging. Dave Sanderson rejoins me to kind of break some of those down, including the place we're currently standing. This is a beautiful little cabin. Welcome to the Double Villas. These are, there are 13 buildings. They're all grouped closely. You're a nine iron from the pro shop and the restaurant and bar. Um, refrigerators, no full kitchens. All, and all of these are set up with four beds. There are a couple that have three. Um, this is a very popular choice for group because they can all be together. And there's some outdoor cooking areas by the pool, which is close. Um, not, a, not a bad choice for a golf destination. When you come in here and set up shop with your friends, you've got a little fireplace here if it's later in the season or whenever you might need a little more warmth. And uh, each bedroom has its own bathroom each bed, as well. Each, the two bedrooms, two baths in almost every unit that we're going to go in. What's that? You say you'd much rather just have a simple cottage on a golf course? Well, here at Garland, they've got something called the Golf Cottage. Will that work? Dave, the magic of the Golf Cottage, what is it? We've beamed ourselves across the street. We're in one of our uh, 34 golf cottages, which as you can see behind us, border fountains number 10. Uh, two bedrooms, two baths, full kitchens, uh, grouped together. A very popular choice with our golfers. Beautiful deck out here. You have your own grill, and then inside your own kitchen, and really, really can set Pretty up cool shop place. here for a while. Pretty cool place. In the hierarchy of lodging options, where does this one fit? I think it depends on your preferences. I think these and the double bills are both very popular for for guests that want to be close to the lodge, don't want to worry about cooking. They like the double villas. Guys that want to cook or uh, do their own meals or things, they like these. I like to double bill those myself, but they're both great options. As we continue exploring various lodging options, perhaps your foursome would like a little more room to breathe. Welcome to the spacious condos at Garland. This is a beauty, Dave. Thanks, Bill. This is uh, Welcome to Garland West, we call this. Uh, we have several of these two bedroom condos. Again, like a lot of our accommodations here, set up with four beds. Uh, it's perfect for two couples or perfect for four guys or four women. Uh, they're adjacent to our single villas uh, within very easy walk and adjacent to behind us uh, reflections one green and fairway uh, with a large patio and a big grill. So very popular with groups to headquarter here, use this as a gathering spot, cook out, hang out, party. And rounding out our overview of the places you can stay when you come play at Garland is this beautiful French country villa. Dave, what on earth? This is incredible. Pretty nice. Um, uh, we've got about 10 of these. There are three bedrooms, two and a half baths. We have a couple four bedroom options as well. Um, full kitchens. They all border fountains number 12. Uh, they're very popular with groups. Um, you have a group of 20 guys, you get three or four of these and you're right together. 
And really, it's like staying in an Airbnb, somebody's home. And that's what these things were set up for. We've got one course left to show you. It's called Fountains, and it is spectacular. But there's no way we could do a program here without spending a moment or two in one of the most popular areas at the resort. This patio and this tiki bar is where so many of you over the years have set up shop for delicious dinners, a little time to wind down after your round and count up your wins and losses, and kind of make memories with your friends around the table. Not to mention the food is really, really good. Whether you get the white fish or the New York strip, the brisket, the, I, could, I could go on and on for quite some time. Probably the best way to tackle this particular part of your visit to Garland is to come and sample a little bit of everything from that menu. And when you do, soak in the views and realize that you're truly somewhere special. Okay, one more golf course straight ahead as we head out to the fountains. To this point in the program, you've seen Monarch and Swamp Fire and Reflections, and now we have time for one more course, which also happens to be, more often than not, the most popular choice of guests coming to play at Garland. Rejoining me for the final part of our show today is Martin Monk, and uh, here we are on Fountains on its 70th anniversary. That's correct, and you actually are on the number one original hole. On number 14 now. Number 14 now, correct. Well, yeah. Let's back up a little bit. Let's go through some of the history of this from 70 years ago and, and what this course has come to mean in northern Michigan and here at Garland. Well, certainly, yeah. This is uh, obviously started in 1951 by the Otto family. Uh, again, a nine-hole course originally, and then turned into 18, then 36. Then they added another 18. There's probably been eight or 10 different configurations on the various holes that you play today. So as far as Northern Michigan, one of the top resorts in the state, obviously, and, uh, and well recognized. You know what, what I enjoy about fountains is uh, the challenge on the par threes. They're not necessarily brutally long, yeah. but you're not gonna wanna be short on them. You've really gotta kinda dial your iron play in. You gotta find your misses, that's for sure. There's certain spots that you don't wanna be absolutely on the par threes and several of the par fours as well. In this overall scope of golf at Garland, I mentioned a moment ago that Fountains is often cited as the favorite, but it's a pretty close election, isn't it? It is, you, you'll find, you know what, I think it was several years ago, they closed the Fountains course just for members only. Uh, members weren't happy about that. They, they, Obviously, a lot of them like the Monarch better, Reflections better, Swamp Fire better. And even to this day, you'll see the groups and the members alike, they'll come out here and you ask them which ones are favorites, and usually it's one they score the best on, but sometimes it's the, the, the prettiest one or the ones they, they just enjoy more than another. So sometimes Monarch is better, that's for sure. For anybody who has ever driven through Lewiston and out by the resort, the iconic wood, wooden bridge is, is part of that memory making and you cross over that when you're playing fountains. Yes, you do, yep. Going from obviously one to two and from 13 to 14, you go across our bridge, which is uh, the largest log span, I guess this side of the Mississippi River. So it's, it's quite iconic. It's fun to drive under when you're coming into the property to see it. It's kind of a, a mainstay of the resort, that's for sure. Well, it is a fantastic experience and I appreciate you helping us tour each of the four courses. And pleasure. now obviously we want those people to come here and play. Please do, we'll see you soon. I've made all the birdies I can make with Marty on the four golf courses. And as we head down the home stretch, we welcome back in Dave Sanderson because I know the message you want to leave our viewers with is get to Garland. Come help us celebrate our 70th anniversary and be a member for a day or a weekend or a few days. And we'd love to have you. And we look forward to welcoming all of you to Garland Logic Golf Resort. And you and I walked through the different lodging options. So it doesn't matter what size your group is. Could be one, could be two, could be 50. You've got room, you've got places and, and different budget levels. Yes, we do. And, and, and a lot of seasonal choices. And, and Marty Monk, um, in addition to being, as you saw, an excellent golfer, is excellent at packaging and creating golf experiences for people. So I'm call Marty and his staff. We'll take care of you. By my calculations, Marty was roughly eight under during our rounds today, and I hear he's even better at taking care of groups. I would agree with that. It seems like just 29 minutes ago, we began this tour of Garland and its four championship courses. I guess that's because it was about 29 minutes ago. And that's not nearly enough time to explore every hole here on this wonderful property. And so the next logical step is for you to come here yourself, tee it up, test your game, 
and take advantage of the wonderful Garland hospitality and service on a golf getaway that lasts not a day, maybe a week, maybe longer. We'll look forward to seeing you in Lewiston. Thanks for watching.